What's up? I was asked, did I ever do any of my time among any stars? And I did one, Susanville. The son of Rick James, Rick James Jr. and Wesley Pipes. Yes, the, the porn star, the black porn star, Wesley Pipes, <laughs> who looked like Wesley Snipes. Real popular dude, you know, for those who follow porn. Wesley Pipes was actually my neighbor. Our feet was facing each other when we slept at night. And we was cool. We was real cool. We had, you know, we used to share his little pictures of his lot of ugly women that he was screwing. You know, some of them even looked like dudes, but nonetheless, he, he was about what he was about. I remember one time, I almost started a fucking riot at Susanville. One morning, we go on a chow to breakfast, and it's customary. If, you know, your boy, your whoever you deal with, your, your cool, your Muslim partner, whatever, that you go ahead and cut the line, go up to him. It's no problem. Everybody do it. This in particular morning, I do it in a, in a wood, a.k.a. a white boy, yelled out, why don't you take your ass to the back of the line like everybody else? And I turned around and said, why don't you mind your fucking business? And he's like, fuck you. All the woods, all the white dudes, all the blacks, everybody froze and looking at each other and looking at me. And so I turned around, kept on proceeding in the line, and Wesley Pipes was a server. And he yelled over there, I was Muhammad at the time. He's like, Muhammad, you all right? Everything good? And I'm explaining to him briefly what happened because he saw what happened, but he was just giving the call that, you know, he ready. And right after that, went and sat down and ate. I couldn't even eat because the whole chow hall is now in an uproar. Then after we all dump our trays and we walk outside, the races divide. I'm surrounded by brothers. We walking slow. It's silent. You don't hear nothing. As they say, you can hear a pin drop. And the tower officers saw that. And within maybe two or three minutes of us all walking out, going back to the dorms, and them seeing the separate and the, the, the divide and seeing it was about to be a race riot, they shut the yard down and drew their guns and made everybody get down. And later on, I mean, they shut the yard down, and later on, one of the head woods came and met with me. And actually, they reprimanded that dude for interfering in other races' affairs and, and, and violating the, the chain of command. But still, that shit right there, somebody could have really got murdered. But my boy, the infamous Wesley Pipes, was down with me, and I appreciated that. And we was good until I left. And Rick James Jr., when I used to speak during Ramadan, he would not want to listen to nobody but me. He came specifically to hear Brother Muhammad speak, and I was honored by that. He, he, he made that known to me, that, Brother, you're the only brother that I want to hear when, we, when you know, the speeches are given at night. And I was really honored. And I wasn't sure that that was Rick James' son until I saw his funeral pictures at, and I saw him at the grave site. And I was like, wow, that really was Rick James Jr. But yes, those are about the only two so-called, you know, celebrities or those related to celebrities that I ran into. Even though I was at Corcoran where Scott Peterson and Charles Manson was at, but they were on different levels. So that was my little so-called celebrity experience. Peace.